Top 5 Highlights of Billings Billings is located in South Central Montana where I-90 and I-94 meet. Billings is the largest city in the state with a population of about 117,000. It is a modern city with nearly all of its growth taking place in the last 100 years. For example, in 1930, the city had a population of only around 16,000. A question that often comes to mind when you think of Montana is the weather. Is it always cold in Billings? Well, it can snow most any time from November to as late as April. The average high in July, though, is 87. This compares to 36 for January, so much better to visit in the summer. The city is known as a trade and distribution center for this region of Montana and Wyoming. The trade started with the town's founding when the railroad was built back in 1882. The building skyline is typical for a small western city. The tallest building is the first interstate center at 272 feet just missing the 300 foot tall building threshold. In total, the city has about 10 buildings over 100 feet. Billings is not a huge tourist destination. It is a city that provides all travel services and has some unique sites. Now, if you find yourself in Billings, what are some things to see and do? Number one, the Rim Rocks. Number two, Western Heritage Center. Number three, Yellowstone Art Museum. Number four, Moss Mansion. Number five, Pictograph Cave State Park. The Rim Rocks. These sandstone formations provide a rim around Billings. They can be enjoyed from a distance or explored by car or on hiking trails. Your journey to the top of the rims will be rewarded with views of Billings and the surrounding countryside. The very best views are at sunset. In some ways, the rim rocks are similar to the Black Hills around Rapid City, but not quite as impressive. The Western Heritage Center. The Western Heritage Center is a regional museum with twin towers located in downtown Billings. One of the primary things to see is the building itself. In one of the towers, there's a beautiful circular staircase. The center provides original South Central Montana exhibits and houses artifacts pertaining to the history of the Yellowstone River Valley. One exhibit depicts women doing ranch work at the turn of the century. The center provides a great place to learn about the history of buildings. Yellowstone Art Museum. The Yellowstone Art Museum opened in October 1964 in the former Yellowstone County Jail. This extensive permanent collection of contemporary and historic art of the Rocky Mountain West includes more than 3,000 significant paintings and drawings. Within the collection, there is some innovative works of modern art that are wide open to interpretation. It is conveniently located downtown on the main street leading to and from the airport, so it's very easy to access. Moss Mansion. This mansion is an icon of Montana often featured in pictures and advertisements of the state. The house was originally built at a cost of over 20 times the cost of a typical house in Billings. The Moss family lived here from 1903 all the way till 1984. Today it can be seen with a tour that starts with a video, then a walk with an informed guide through the main and the sleeping floor. A botanical conservatory that the family used as a winter garden are among the rooms in the historic house. Besides the house itself, the most of the artifacts are original and the details and small touches of the exhibits are arranged much as they were when the Moss family owned Billings' premier residence. Pictograph Cave State Park is a national historic landmark located about five miles from Billings. It is known for its importance to Northern Plains archeology. span Within the park are three caves, Pictograph, middle, and ghost caves. Pictographs are still visible in the Pictograph Cave, which is the largest of the three caves. These pictographs are paintings of animals, warriors, and even rifles that document the story of the Native Americans of the area. The oldest pictograph is the turtle, approximately 2100 years old. The site is well known for what's called 
spirit writing. On most days, minerals leach through the sandstone and cover the drawings. But when the cave wall becomes wet, the minerals become transparent, revealing additional drawings. So on a typical day, you may see five pictographs. But when the walls are wet, 10 or more images may appear with much greater detail. In addition to the pictographs, there is a museum with artifacts and items found within the 23-acre park. Since opening, at least 20,000 animal remains and other articles have been recovered from the site. Another aspect of Billings to see in the summertime are several parks. Some of the outstanding parks in the city include the Dan Walt Gardens, Pioneer Park, and Riverfront Park. The Danwalt Gardens feature many colorful flowers, trees, shrubs, and ground cover. Additionally, the park has chickens and roosters that give the picturesque garden a little extra quirkiness. Pioneer Park denotes Billings founding, and Riverfront Park is a scenic city park that is located by the Yellowstone River in downtown. It offers close-up views of the Yellowstone River as well as fishing spots. About an hour east of Billings is the location of General Custer's Last Stand, the Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. Many visit the battlefield and spend a night or two in Billings. Hope you enjoyed the top five highlights of Billings, Montana. Think of other sites or disagree with some of our choices? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We look forward to bringing you more travel highlights videos. See you soon.